Oh, good morning. Do you want me to make you some breakfast? No, 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 not this. Eggs and toast. It's all I have, so unless you want the Captain Crunch. And do you drink coffee? Okay, let me make you breakfast. Uh, but you'll have to go relax for a little bit because, you know, I'm an ASMR artist, so I have to ASMR all of the items before I cook them. But, you know, it should be done uh, pretty soon. I'll let you know what I'm doing while I'm doing it, and then you can enjoy a good breakfast. It is the most important meal of the day. Okay, you just relax. I'll do the cooking. All right, we are opening our fridge and not noticing that I have way too much milk in there. I'm gonna grab some ingredients. The eggs and the chives. Chives are a super fancy way of making your eggs super fancy and tasty. An apple and some whole milk. Yep, that's more milk that I have in there. Let's get a little light up in here. Now, one of the best things that I learned about eggs is that they are best cracked on a flat surface, not on an edge or a corner. Let's crack those in. One egg is not enough. No, you are hungry for a real breakfast. So let's do another. One day, I'm going to learn how to do this with one hand, but not today. Next, we're going to whisk and mix these eggs in the bowl, which will make it easier when we start to scramble it. Let me put it in the pan. I actually don't own a whisk. I just use a fork. I had James helping me with this. I wanted to make sure we did a gratuitous hand washing shot, complete with CDC approved hand washing techniques. And I leave my towel. Always, always wash your produce. I thought that everybody knew this. I thought that everyone washed their produce. But I was horrifically and sadly mistaken. looking at the moment, but we're going to try these babies off. Ah, uh, your favorite part of a GB cooking video. My absolute legendary skills with chopping my ingredients. I bought some new cutting boards. Quite proud of them. I 
lives down and our apple and we're going to cut the apple into bite-sized pieces. Now this is undoubtedly uh, the best way to easily cut an apple. Side and side. like so. Now you noticed I didn't get to cut the other sides. That is because the apple may or may not have fallen on the floor. So I had to deal with that elsewhere. But we did get a decent amount of slices for you. about chopping the chives because I'm so poor at chopping. So I enlisted my cousin, James, in hopefully beautifully chopping the chives for me. It turns out that he also is absolutely terrible at chopping and I had to try not to laugh. Scrambled egg toast is only as good as its toast. If I had fresh sourdough, that's usually my bread of choice. We're gonna go with Pepperidge Farms Farmhouse Sourdough, which is actually extremely delicious. I prefer to not make my breakfast too big. I'll just use one slice as sort of an open-faced sandwich sort of deal. A canvas for our eggy creation. And the rest will go back for another time. This is the best toaster of all time, and our beautiful loaf slice is going to be baked to perfection, nay, toasted to perfection. Only one slice, the darkness of four. And we start that, having a few minutes to get our eggs done at the same time. Scrambled eggs cook really fast, which is great because it gives you a perfect amount of time to get that bread nice and crispy brown. Mm. Let's turn on the stove and cook our eggs, starting with a healthy pat of butter. And this is going to mix together with our eggs to make them very, very delicious. You can see that the pan is already hot because the butter is melting and bubbling, so I'm going to go ahead and pour my whisked eggs into the pan. Once the eggs are in, you want to move pretty fast. You don't really want to let your eggs sit. And you don't want to leave your eggs. That's a lot of people's problem. They put the eggs on and they turn around to do something else. Your eggs need your full attention. If you follow the way of Gordon Ramsay, making eggs is cooked much too quickly, it's too hot. 
prefer to see purposes is just like adding a bit of whole milk makes the eggs creamy. Again, I think this pan is too hot. I was surprised to see the eggs cook so fast. But here you go. I would call these slightly overcooked for how I usually like them. But definitely not burnt. Just a nice, healthy, yellow looking eggs. Don't use metal tongs. Please, use wooden ones. Here's our perfect toast. It was a bit dark since it was early. Um, not a lot of natural light in the kitchen, but I promise you, this toast was perfect. The lighting's not really doing it crispy justice. I'm gonna take a bit of butter, and if I had my way, this would be whipped. best because it goes on so smoothly. But for this, I'm just going to let a slab of butter sit on top so it can melt. That slab is actually a bit too big, so don't worry, you don't end up eating that much butter. Just want to get some nice ASMR crunch. Now we have lift off. We must put our eggs on top of the toast. Again, I didn't love how these cooked. Usually they aren't so pieced, I suppose, but they're still tasty. Can't judge an egg by its egg shape. Get some salt, some pepper, And I always like to add garlic salt. Just a little, little bit. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then the best part to absolutely any breakfast, and my favorite part, is a nice cup of I like to choose single brew because sometimes I want a dark roast or a light roast or in this case I'm going to use a smaller size coffee because with this one we're actually going to mix it with some frothed milk Now we just enjoy the virtual smell of coffee brewing. It's absolutely my favorite smell of all time. It's so good. some good things about oat milk. I have almond milk too, but today we're using whole milk. And this little machine frogs the milk, and I'm doing it hot, but if you press that button twice, it's cold. If you want a cold I prefer hot coffee every single day of the year unless I'm actively trying to cool down. There's nothing like a hot, hot cup of coffee. See? That was quick. All done. Now we just pour 
pour it in, and you can stir it up. I have no idea how to professionally do this. I just add it. Now we're going to plate our breakfast. Toast, a little fork and knife if you don't want to get too messy. A bottle of hot sauce, of course. This is one of my favorites, the chili lime Cholula. The coffee, which is in an ember mug. I've had a lot of people ask me about these. Would highly recommend. Keeps your coffee hot. And then you're saying GB, why did you pull out peanut butter? What are you doing? And that is because I'm going to put it with your apple slices. I bet you forgot about those, huh? I'm kind of laughing at how this lighting makes the eggs look. But hey, it's early in the morning, barely any light. You have a whole breakfast waiting for you. A little sprinkle of those chives. And there you have it. Oh. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you.